Okay, so now we're going to find volumes of revolution generated by the region when we rotate around the y-axis. We're going this way. And so the outside function is going to be e the x minus 1. I'm going to make my little rectangle this way because I'm making these rings here when I rotate this scenario around. And those rings, the radius I'm looking for, are x values as opposed to y values. And so I have to... But my problem here is these are y values, so I have to convert from x's to y's because I'm dealing with dy. And so again, it's pi, and my intersection is 0 here, but up here, this value here needs to be a y value. So if I go back to my calculator and find the intersection, again, let's find the intersection, the intersection. I get here, I get the value 2.512. So up top here it's 2.512. And all these ones I have to consider my function. I want the outside radius. Subtract the inside radius. Well the outside radius is y equals e the x minus 1. I have to convert that solve for x in terms of y. And so I add the 1 and I take the natural logarithm, so ln y plus 1 is equal to x. And so my outside radius is ln y plus 1 squared minus, if I take y equals 2x, my outside radius here will be x to o o y over 2. And so I have y over 2 squared dy. And this is going to be my volume when I rotate around the y-axis. I change my functions in terms of y. So again, I have to use my calculator. But I'm going to switch my functions around and write them as such. So I'm going to start off with pi, number 9. I'm going to go from 0 the 2.51286 and it's going to go from open parenthesis ln x plus 1 close parenthesis squared and notice I put x in here because the calculator reads x's and I'm going to subtract open parenthesis x divide 2 close parenthesis squared and I'm integrating with respect to x, hit the enter key, and I can see that my volume now is approximately 1.32 units cubed as my volume. Similarly, when I go to revolve around the line y equals x is 2, same idea, I want my perpendicular line Oh, how about I do it correctly? If I want my perpendicular line here at x equal to 2 somewhere, I'm going to rotate around there. So here is my rectangle. Again, it's dy's. So it's pi 0 to 2.5. Let's find that point of intersection again. I can see that the point of intersection is 2.512. And my radius is going to be the outside one is 2 to the x, which I know is y over 2. So it's 2 minus y over 2 squared minus 2 minus ln y plus 1 squared dy. And so the setup you have to be careful when you do it because your radiuses are the outside radius minus the inside radius. You throw this in your calculator and you will get your final answer. And there we have volumes of revolution.